Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video you will learn how to properly use the ordinary guanactive retinoid 2% in squalane. And guanactive retinoid is an advanced version of retinoids that can help you to target multiple signs of aging as well as smoothen and even your skin and texture. And this version is also less likely to cause skin irritation, which you usually can experience when using retinols. So therefore, this is also the better option to go for. Now, they also do include one with 2%, which is this one right here, as well as with 5%. However, if you are new to the Granactive Retinoid, I recommend starting off with the lowest strength possible. In this case, it's also the 2%. And then make sure that your skin can also get used to the product. Now you can keep it fairly simple and also use this one on its own if you prefer so in your evening skincare routine and that's basically it. Or you can also go ahead and include it in your skincare routine where you may also want to use a few steps before applying the retinoid as well as a few steps afterwards. And I'm going to break it down step by step so that you will see when you can also include the Granactive Retinoid in your skincare routine in case you're using more than one product. Now one step which won't change is the first step. Please also keep this in mind and please do not skip this step. And this is also washing your face with a gentle and suitable cleanser. Now here are just a few options that I have in front of me. Of course, if you have one at home that you truly love, go ahead and use that one. Now, if the step number one does not change, doesn't matter how many products you're going to use afterwards, but please start always off with washing your face. This can help you to remove any excess oil, dirt, leftovers of your makeup, as well as leftovers of your sunscreen. And therefore, when also having a freshly washed and clean face, you then can also move on to the next product which you're going to apply to the skin. Now I'm going to get into a very simple but still also a little bit more of an advanced routine. Of course, those steps that I'm about to share with you are also all optional. In case you notice that there's a step that you also usually include in your skincare routine, go ahead, use that one. If there's another step that you don't use at all, skip on it. I just want to make sure that you also understand when you can also properly layer the Granactive Retinoid in Squalane, since this is also an anhydrous solution. And with the ordinary products, we all know that they have different formulations and therefore it's also important to know how you can correctly layer them. Now, after you're done with washing your face with your favorite cleanser that you have at home, you then can also move on to the second step if you also want to include this one into your routine, which also would be applying your toner. Now, if you have a toner at home that's very soothing, calming, hydrates the skin, it's like a light moisturizer already, go ahead and include that one. This one is your second step. Of course, if you don't want to use a toner at all, then that's fine, skip on this step. Now, depending on the texture of your toner, you can also apply it with a cotton pad or you can also go ahead and apply it with your hands. Now, the toner that I have right here is definitely a little bit more of a thicker texture and therefore I'm going to apply it also with my hands. And then I like to use my hands together and start also gently applying it all over my face and neck area. Now you would do the same thing if you have a toner that's, uh, that's having like a little bit more of a lighter texture, then go ahead and also apply it either with your hands or also with a cotton pad. And when using it with a cotton pad, you are basically just swiping it across your face and neck area, similar to what I'm doing with my hands. And then once you're done with the application of your toner, again, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. Now using a toner is optional, however, if you want to include one, it's your second step after cleansing. Now if you want to move on to your third step and you also want to include it in your routine, your third step would also be a leave-on exfoliant. And this could be a salicylic acid exfoliant, mandelic acid, lactic acid or also the ordinary glycolic acid for example. Now, when also including an exfoliant, this one is optional and depending also on your skin concern, it can also be very beneficial. However, if you're new to the Granactive Retinoid in Squalane as well as new to acids, I recommend using them at alternate times for a while, sorry, at alternate times for a while so that your skin can get used to it and build up the tolerance before you're going to use both in the same routine just to avoid skin irritation and it also still feels comfortable on the skin. 
I still want to show you in what order you can also properly layer them in case you also then feel ready to use them together. Now either way your third step would be your leave-on exfoliant and I'm going to also go ahead and use for example the Paula's Choice BHA liquid exfoliant which is salicylic acid. You can also choose any of the other ones. Please make sure to not confuse the ordinary glycolic acid toner with a toner. This is also an exfoliating solution since it includes 7% of glycolic acid which also exfoliates the skin. So please do not confuse it. I know it has like a tricky word as well as like the toning solution in it, but it still is an exfoliant so it would be your third step. Now when applying your leave-on exfoliant, again depending on the texture you can also go ahead and apply it with your hands or in this case I'm going to apply it with a cotton pad. And then once you have also applied it or like basically dispensed some product onto the cotton pad you can also go ahead and start swiping it across your face and neck area. Now when using a leave-on exfoliant and you also want to use it together in the same routine after a while with the Granactive Retinoid, this can also be very beneficial to smoothen the skin texture as well as also acne scars since it can help you to also first of all exfoliate away any dead skin cells mainly also when using like an AHA such as lactic acid or glycolic acid as it's going to basically shed off any dead skin cells and then with the granactive retinoid that you're going to use afterwards it can also help you to reveal healthier skin cells which also means that your skin is becoming over the time less bumpier it also evens out a bit more and therefore for when using those two together and you're having problems with your skin and texture and also acne scars this can be very beneficial still please also make sure to use them at alternate times for a while before using them together in the routine now after you are done with the application of your leave-on exfoliant as it already mentioned it's a leave-on exfoliant you're going to leave it on the skin and let it sink into the skin you now can also go ahead and move on to the next step now, your next step would be a water-based serum. As I already mentioned, with the ordinary like products, they have different formulations. Therefore, it's also important to know the general rule of thumb, which always starts off with water-based serums, as this is also the thinnest texture. Then you're going to move on to any anhydrous solutions, which is going to be the granactive retinoid. Then you're going to move on to any oil formulations and then move on to your creams and suspensions. So this is the order of a formulation, depending on what product you're using, so that you know in what order you're going to apply them. Now, I'm going to choose, for example, the ordinary hyaluronic acid. Now, there's one major reason why I've chosen the hyaluronic acid, not only because it can help you with the hydration in your skin, but also it can be very beneficial when also using a retinoid. Now, using hyaluronic acid in your skin care routine is optional. However, it can help you to make sure that the granactive retinoid is going to penetrate better into the skin. Now, to make sure that no irritation happens, please make sure to start slowly with it. Otherwise, sometimes when a product uh, gets too quickly into the skin, it may cause skin irritation. This does not only happen with retinoids, retinol. This can also happen with any active ingredient that can change something in your skin. So please keep this in mind that hyaluronic acid can basically help to penetrate the next product that you're going to layer on top of it uh, quicker into the skin. Now when using a water-based serum, such as hyaluronic acid, I recommend using between 1-3 to three drops for the entire face and neck area. Still, if you feel the need to use a few drops more, you can go ahead and use also a few drops more, that's totally fine. Just make sure that your skin is also able to fully sink, like basically soak it all up, so that there's no residue left on top of the skin. I'm going to stick with two drops. Again, I like to use it between my hands and then start patting it into the skin and then slowly also start blending it into the skin. Now, the application method depends on your preference. Some people prefer, including me, to use it in the palm of their hand. Others prefer to use their fingertips for it. Other people prefer to use immediately a few drops onto their face. So whatever works the best for you, that's the method that you're going to use. There's no right and wrong. 
And once you're done with the application of your water-based serum, again, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. Now, when it comes to how many serums you can include in one routine for like optimal results and so that your skin can also fully absorb them so that they can penetrate into the skin, I recommend using no more than three serums formulations in one routine. So let's say you're going to use no more than three of those little bottles in one routine. And so hyaluronic acid would be the first one. And now if you want to use also the granactive retinoid in your routine as well, you could include and go ahead and use one more serum if you prefer to for uh, like optimal results. However, I'm going to stick with hyaluronic acid as my water-based serum. And after the water-based serum, I'm going to move on to the granactive retinoid 2% in squalane. This is a solution. This is like a water-free solution. Therefore, it's preferred to also use it after the water-based serum. Um, but it also still has squalane in it, which is kind of like an oil. So it's water-free, but it still has an oil in it. And this is also what the texture is like. It's a, a little bit of an oilier texture. So therefore, I recommend also using only the smallest amount, what you really need for the skin. So it also feels comfortable on the skin, doesn't feel heavy on the skin, and doesn't feel greasy on the skin. Now with the Granactive Retinoid 2% in Squalane, I also recommend using between 1 to 3 drops for the entire face and neck area. I also recommend start off with a little bit less and then see how far you can come with the application and if you should feel the need of using more, you can do so. But please start off with a little bit less and then see how, far, like how it also applies onto the skin. I'm going to use 2 drops. As this is enough for my skin, again, I like to use it between my hands and then start patting it into the skin. And once I'm done with the patting method application, I also like to go ahead and blend the rest into the skin. Please make sure to not get it too close towards the eye area as well as around your mouth. And make sure that you're not using too much so that it also still feels comfortable on the skin. So, and once you're done with the application of the Granactive Retinoid 2% in Squalane, this could already be your last step, but it doesn't have to. You can also now go ahead, as I do it for myself as well, and add a moisturizer on top. So you can finish it off with this one if that's um, like if your skin feels great after the application. If you feel like not the need to also add a moisturizer on top, that's totally fine, since it also feels a little bit like an oil-like texture. However, if you still should feel a little bit of dryness or if your skin is a bit more irritated, depending also on the weather, if it's cold outside or your skin type in general, then you can also go ahead and add a moisturizer on top of it. Now I recommend using about a pea size amount and then apply it on top of the Granactive Retinoid 2% in Squalane and gently apply it all over your face and neck area. About that much. And then just start blending it into the skin. So, and once you're done with the application of your moisturizer, again, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. This could be a great PM skincare routine where I'm going to like basically have also broken it down, showed you the different products, what you can use before as well as afterwards to make sure that you also have the correct layering going on and that you're not using too much of each product because you're using more than one product. If you want to keep it simple, you just can also go ahead and use, again, step number one, wash your face and then basically go ahead and apply the Granactive Retinoid 2% in Squalane on top and that's it. This is also how easy you can keep it. However, um, if you are new to the Granactive Retinoid 2% in Squalane or you are new to any anti-aging products in general, I recommend first of all start off slowly. Use it every other day before you're going to use it more often in your skincare routine. And this is also really important to see also how your skin will respond to the product um, in case that an irritation may happen. You may want to reduce the frequency of the product or you may also want to stop using it depending also on how often you have already used it during the week. Um, or if everything went fine after a while of using it and you can see that your skin is getting used to it and also has adjusted to it, then you can also use it more uh, like often during the week until you can also use it daily at night. 
Now there's one other method which I still want to include and this is also how you can dilute it with your moisturizer. Now in case you do not really like want to use it on its own because you want to play it safe and first of all start with diluting it and then slowly get used to it on using it on its own that's totally fine and i do understand it now the way that you can also go ahead and do it is basically when also moving on to the like different steps that you may want to include and then you're coming to an end where you also want to include your moisturizer then you can also go ahead and use about a pea size amount of your moisturizer like so and then use between one to three drops of the granactive retinoid in squalane and mix it with your moisturizer again i'm going to add just two drops to it since this is also what i've used um, like just currently on its own and that's enough for my skin and then you can also start mixing it with your moisturizer and once you're done with mixing it and you're done with diluting it, you can also go ahead and use that amount of product and then again, just apply it like your moisturizer. Start applying it uh, evenly all over your face and neck area. Just make sure that you're not getting too close towards the eyes as well as not too close around your mouth area. This is really important. And then once you're done with the application, either using it on its own or you want to dilute it with your moisturizer, then that's basically it. This is also how you can include it in your little routine. Now it's important that you're going to use the Granactive Retinoid in the PM Skin Carotene, since it is a little bit more sensitive to sunlight as well as air. And therefore, when using it also in the evening, there's no need to also use a sunscreen afterwards. However, when also waking up the next morning and you're doing your AM skincare routine, doesn't matter how advanced or simple you're going to keep it, please make sure to also use a good sunscreen in your morning skincare routine as your last step in your skincare routine so that you can also protect the skin. Now there's one more thing that I do want to mention which is really important, especially with the Ordinary Granactive Retinoid 2% in Squalane. Once it's open, please do not forget to refrigerate it. You have to put it in the fridge so it also can keep its like efficacy that it's not going to lose it and that it still can also work for your skin. So please make sure after you have opened it, put it in the fridge. That's really important. Usually with ordinary products, there's no need to put them in the fridge, but with their retinoids, it's important. Those are the only products so far from the ordinary line that have to be uh, in the fridge once you are uh, like using them. So this is also what I wanted to share with you. I also do hope that you enjoyed this video, that I also could help you to break it down, how you can also properly include it. And don't forget, the steps in between are optional, so use whatever you need from those steps and then with the rest you also just saw the application of the Granactive Retinoid as well as how you can also dilute it in your skincare routine. Now the only conflict that Granactive Retinoid has is please do not use it with any other retinoids or retinols. That's like the only conflict that it has. You can use it with niacinamide, you can use it with any acids, you can use it with uh, any toners, etc. vitamin C's whatsoever. But please the major concern that it has or like the conflict that it has is do not use it in the same routine with other retinoids and retinols. So this is also one thing that I want to point out at the end so that you're making sure that you're not like getting an irritation by using more than one retinoid product. So this is also what I want to share with you. I also do hope that you enjoyed it. Keep in mind, start with the lowest uh, percentage as well as slowly introduce it in your skincare routine. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that I could help you out with this video and I will see you soon in the next one and happy skin caring. Bye.